guys welcome you all to the PC Tips Pro. Today in this video I'm gonna to show you how you can create autos and transportation website with WordPress. So if you want to create your attractive websites then without learning any programming languages like HTML, Java you can go with this WordPress platform. If you are planning to coordinate and plan the details of transporting cargo from a point of departure to a destination then it's the best platform for you to create your own websites. So before we move further, don't forget to subscribe to the channel PC Tips Pro. So before we move further to this topic, let me tell you that they require two basic requirements. The first requirement is the domain. That means you need to buy a domain. And the second is you need to buy a hosting. So let's proceed further to this. First of all, you can open your browser and on the browser search for domain racer or you can directly go to the website which is domainracer.com. So guys, here I'm not going to buy the hosting because I already having it with domain racers and I really love their services. Because they have very great services, they also have instant support as you can see support chat is here. So, you can talk to them directly and you can directly contact to the salesperson also if you are having any of the technical issues. So I am only going to buy the domain here. So guys when you open domain racer website on the top you can see domain is here. So now click on the domain and search for the domain. Also make sure while searching for a domain, try to search for the name which is relevant to your website. It means the keyword of your website should be in the domain. So now talking about autos and transportation website, I will search for my transportation and now we'll click on the search option and here you can see there are different suggestions coming up. The domains which are available here. The first domain is mytransportationgroup.com The second one is mytransportation.xyz And the third you can see on my screen is mymedicaltransportation.com So guys, if you are a developer and digital marketer, then I will suggest you to go with .com domain because the .com domain will show your presence globally. It also helps to rank your website on top. And now, once you select the .com domain, you can click to this add to cart. Now you can go to the web hosting. But as I earlier said that I already having hosting with domain racers. So I am skipping this hosting part. Now we will move to the second part to set up your hosting. So again go to the domain racer website. Then on the top you can see this login option. So click to this login option and once you click into login option you have your credentials to login. This is the same credentials which you have created at the time of signing up the account with the domain racer. So use the same credentials to log into the account and once you log into your account you will see the services and products you have got from them. So you can see your active products and services. So once you click on the shared hosting and domain, you will get the cPanel login credentials and the link also. So I'm directly going to the cPanel here. Then we'll enter ID and the password. So now you can see the cPanel account here. Now once you log into the cPanel account, scroll down it completely down to bottom. And in the software menu, you will see there's an option coming up WordPress Manager by Domain Racer. So click on this option and then you can see there's an option coming WordPress Management. And also there are two different options Install and Scan. So click on this Install option. And here we are going to install the WordPress in our cPanel hosting. So on the top, you can see here it's asking to choose a version so try to use the latest version that will be good for your interface of the WordPress dashboard now here's it's coming for site name 
the site name would be your website name that means your domain name that will represent your website so it was my transportation and the site description you can give like uh, for example i'm taking here is hey this is my transportation site now you can see on my screen there's id and password coming up so you can choose and change according to your needs and so i'm keeping it same admin and admin now select the language that is english also you can choose the language according to your comfort and now here's the last part coming up to select the themes so you can click to show all themes here it will show you the list of all the available themes and it was about my transportation so i'll search for transportation but guys now you can see there's no match found for transportation so i'll click to all and then select any theme from there only so now you can see there are different themes are coming up so you can go with any of the theme which you like more i'm not seeing any of the theme which is related to transportation so i'll search more scroll it down and um, see more themes so now i think it would be better with transportation so let's select this one and i think it would be better related to transportation also if you want to see the demo of this you can click on to demo option and here you are you can easily see the demo that how this theme will look on your website you can see it's really looking nice and will make your website look more attractive also you can choose the themes according to your interest and need i chose this one because there's no match found for transportation so guys i'm going to select this theme here only and we'll click on this install option so as you can see now it's installing so it might take some time as you can see this may take up to 3 to 4 minutes you can read it from here it depends upon your internet speed how fast your internet is working so let it be because this is the mandatory part you cannot skip this part so we will wait some few minutes more now after completing the second part you can move to the last part how you can customize your theme and how can you give the right and attractive look to your website so let's move to the third part guys so guys now you are done with the installation part you will get this screen here as you can see congratulations the software was installed successfully now you are given to different links here the first link as you can see that will show how your website is looking like so you can click on this and you can open now you can see this is how the website is looking like now coming back to the second link as you can see administrative url from where you can go ahead to the customized website that means it will be your wordpress dashboard so click on this and it will redirect you to the wordpress dashboard and as you can see here so talking about the role of the dashboard so let me tell you this dashboard will let you to make changes to your website as you can see either you can customize your website from here or you can change the theme completely you can also enhance your content with blocks and patterns you can do the changes from left side also like uh, if you want to post a blog you can click on this post option if you want to add media files like uh, any photos of yours then then you can do it from here also if you want to add new page then you can go for it and again you can manage your comments from here by clicking appearance you can change your theme or customize your website or if you want to add any plugin then click on this plugin option if you want to assign any other user to your website you can simply do it from here 
also you can see there are many tools which are available so here when you go to the website you can see at the top my transportation if you remember it was the name of the website I have given at that time and now you can see in the heading here is coming up hey this is my transportation site and if you remember it was the description I given at the time of the installation so these all are the demo photos you can see and you can also change it all so you need to go to the dashboard and here's it's the option start customizing so click on this it will let you do all the changes to your website let's suppose if you want to make changes in the header or footer templates and pages you can go to the header and here you can easily change the header as it's preparing the interface and these are the things you can change according to your needs next you can change title add new section also you can change template as you can see it's preparing the interface if you want to make change to home page then you can click to this and you can see it's preparing interface for a home page so from here scrolling down you can change this image or anything else you want to customize in your website so guys i hope it will help you to start your own transportation website through wordpress so that's it for today keep watching pc tips pro